Hey everyone, this is Fireworks Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore your deleted files. Now, I know you're thinking that if you just go to the recycle bin and just click on restore. Oh no, that's not what I meant. I mean, like, if you emptied your recycle bin. So, how are you going to get it back? Now, this is a very easy method. First thing you want to do is you're going to go to Google and search in restoration search it click on the first link which is on snap files go down and download it I already have it on my computer so I don't have to download it again alright so once you've had the program downloaded on your computer just go ahead and run it and right here when it says unzip to folder I would put it where I can easily access it, like my desktop. And I'm going to click on unzip. To organize this, I'm going to right click on my desktop, create a new folder, and let's name it restoration. And just put these four files into the folder. Okay, to load up the program, just double click on this application that's named Restoration and the one with the trash can icon. And we're going to go ahead and load it up. And uh, if you're on Vista, I would recommend right clicking, click Run as an Administrator. Because usually, if you just double click and use it, um, they're not going to let you search the files. Alright, once you've had the Restoration program up, what we're going to do is we're going to search the drive that we want to search for our deleted files. I'm going to go ahead and search the C drive and click search deleted files. If you guys want to include any of these, make sure to check them. Like including clusters by other files or files within even if the size is zero. Okay, so click search deleted files and it will begin to search and as you can see I've got 444 files found and um, if I want to restore any of these I can just click on them and click restore by copying this can be very easily done so you don't have to install anything you just need to download the program and just go ahead unzip and run it it's really fast and it doesn't even waste that much space if you feel like there's nothing here that you need just click on others and delete completely and we'll start deleting your clusters and it takes a while if you really want to clear up some space on your computer, go ahead, delete them. But I guess there's no harm in keeping them, unless they're a virus or something. Alright, uh, this is a very simple tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.